everyone. Welcome to another Massive tutorial. Today I have a quick tutorial um, for a white noise effect. It's really simple, so let's get started. Um, I just have the default patch here, which you get from going to New Sound, loaded up, which is just that saw wave. Um, let's go ahead and shut oscillator one off, so all the oscillators will be off and you'll just have no noise. And let's go down here to the noise generator where it has white noise and turn that amp all the way up and we're going to get this terrible white noise so let's try to do something with that um, go into envelope 3 here pull the attack down I'll pull the decay almost all the way down and pull this level all the way down and we're going to use that in just a second go up to filter 1 select low pass pull the resonance down just a little and pull the cutoff all the way down. Now we're going to use our envelope here in the cutoff of filter 1. Pull it almost all the way up. Now let's hear the difference there. Okay, so what we're going to do with that um, is go into LFO 5 here and change it to a performer. Now something I haven't shown before is you can actually, um, you don't have to use all this. If we just click here and drag down these numbers will start to gray out so now when this runs uh, go ahead and hit sync it's on 1 16th which we're just going to leave there um, if you watch here it's just going to cycle through that four so it doesn't go all the way to the end so we can repeat things basically um, so let's go ahead and hit load curve um, select this line right here pull all the way down this here put that there and then get your line there again and just pull all the way up for those two. And then on the bottom, um, we're going to pull all the way across with a straight line. If you look here, the X fade, we're using both of these. So that's why I changed both of them. And uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to take this performer. And I'm going to side chain the main amp here with it, which is you can just drop right in here. And uh, let's go ahead and hear the difference. Right now we have. And then basically, I'm going to take this shape. And it's going to shape this envelope every time it cycles through. Let's hear that. So I'm sure you've heard something very similar to that before. Um, you kind of hear it everywhere, and it's really cool. Um, let's go up here to FX1. Go ahead and select Delay Synced. And I'm going to pull the right maybe up to 1 8th, leave the left at 1 4th, pull the dampener all the way up, feedback up some, we'll pull this dry wet knob down some. And we'll just put some small reverb in the second one. That's that little. And you get this. So it's great for creating a really atmospheric sound, um, and it can add a lot to make things not so repetitive. Uh, hope you found that helpful. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.